two non-negative angles, we can just call them J and K, are complementary if their sum is 90 degrees. P numbers. What is the complementary angle of 52 degrees? We have this acute angle between zero and 90. That's what makes it acute. We wanna figure out what is this angle over here? In other words, what number, when you add it to 52, gives you 90? Oh, the good news is, to get to 10, we just add eight. Two and eight gives us 10. So that's gonna be 52 and eight, or 60. And the difference between 60 and 90 is 30. So we need to add 38 here. That's the complementary angle that gives us the sum 52 plus 38 or 90 degrees. Let's look at a right angle triangle with an interior angle of 30 degrees. What? What's a right angle triangle? Yes, yes, of course. A triangle with a squarish corner, a perfect 90 degrees in one corner. That's the ticket. Man, Bob's your uncle. Interior just means it's inside the triangle. Exterior means outside. Interior means inside. Exterior means outside. Interior inside. Exterior outside. 30 degrees. What's the complementary angle here? In other words, we want to know when you add 30 and that number, you get 90 degrees. Okay, in other words, you're just asking for 30 minus, excuse me, 90 minus 30. That's going to give you the difference here, the complementary angle. Well, nine tens take away three tens. Bada bing, bada boom, Bob's your uncle, you're in business. 60 degrees. That's the complementary angle here. So that when you add it to 30, Hey, you get 90. Why is this helpful? Well, a real clear example is a land surveyor. Land surveyors have to map out and measure the boundaries and dimensions of land. They use angles and even more advanced math like trigonometry. <laughs> if you see them on the side of the road, make sure you pull over and give them exactly three bananas. No more, no less. Don't do that. Hey, tree. You know what else to compliment this video? Joining the Greater Gators class. You can ask your mom, dad, or Uncle Bob how. The link is below. I don't want you to grab a cast iron skillet and chase off a gator in real life, like a Florida man. But I do hope to see you in this community of problem solvers that we're building. See you next time. God bless. Look at 55 degrees. It's an acute angle it's between zero and 90. We want to know what that turkey is right there. Okay, so in other words, we need to know what the difference is between 90 and 55 degrees. That'll give us the complementary angle. Okay, if you have nine tens and you take away five tens, that's just gonna be four tens. But you have zero minus five or negative five, so we have four tens minus five. In other words, you know that more commonly as 35. That is the complementary angle here. 35 compared to this first guy, 55 degrees. Yep, you add those two together, you're gonna get 90 degrees, which is the perfect right angle. That's what a right angle is. It's 90 degrees. Whoa. What is the complementary angle of 66 and a half degrees? Don't get scared. It is a little advanced because it's got that decimal, but we can do this. What we're asking for is the difference because this right angle, remember, is simply 90 degrees. So it's another way of saying we want to find the difference between 90 and 66.5. That's how we can get the complement. Now, 90 minus 66 and a half. Hmm, well, don't get scared now. Nine minus six, that's gonna give us simply three tens or 30. And then you're gonna have minus 6.5. So what's 30 
minus six and a half. Oh, right. Well, 30 minus six is 24, but then you're also subtracting a half. So rewind, pause, fast forward as you need to. We're looking for simply 23 and a half degrees. That is the complement of this angle. As I destroy our angle. 23 and a half is the complement to 66 and a whooping half. When you add those together, you get 90 degrees. Yeah. What's the complementary angle of 12.7? Hey, welcome to the bonus section, by the way, where all your hopes and dreams don't come true. Ha <laughs> ha. No, I'm being facetious. We want to.